Okay, we are here with George Nyambua, captain of Kenya and uh, Kenya 15th, the Simbas. How was it uh, captaining Kenya for the first time? Uh, I think it was, <coughs> I'm used to it because yeah. I, already I was a captain in my local club, so I, I had one, two, three leadership skills yeah. already applied, so I used them to apply yeah. in my new position. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Hong Kong, how can you say the match was Hong Kong versus Kenya? The first half was kind of CISO, second half you, you guys came back. Yeah, the first half we really started on a low note, so we picked it up yeah, on, on the second half. So we had too many mistakes, too many errors in the first half. So that's why on Tong took, took the advantage of us and they really punished us on our own mistakes. Yeah. And uh, what are the key lessons that you guys are going to take forward uh, in going to on to the next game? And you personally as George, what can you, uh, you say that you need to improve? Okay, first, we have, we have big problems in defense. Then second, with kickers, at, at least they really need to prove and they really need to work hard to come on their kicking because today the kicking was too, too bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it really cost, cost, costed us. Yeah. As you can see, we, they drew, we drew because of the kicking. The kicking yeah. was too bad, yeah. And uh, there are many people who are watching you. Uh, Nikoshua, there are people from Cabras back home and the other kids who are looking up to you. Uh, maybe you can tell them a few What Can you tell them to get where you are? Uh, okay. What, all my, my advice to them is just they keep on working hard and be humble. They put, they, if we put God first, everything just comes automatically. Everything comes when you put God first. Yeah. And uh, being a captain of Kenya, uh, to where you started, how long has it taken you to reach uh, where you are uh, on your rugby journey? From when you started uh, your rugby journey, maybe you can tell us just uh, how long has it taken for you to wear that jersey? And uh, that jersey, how has it been? My journey to the Kenya national team has not been easy. My first call up was in, way back in 2015. I did not make it. Again, the second call up was in 2016. I did not make it. Though I did not give up, I still continue working hard, rectifying my mistakes. Then the second, the third call up was 2017. That's why I started playing for the Simbas. Uh, yeah, I am. So I just believe through hard work and determination, dedication, everything can just, can, can just, can just come in place. Yeah. And uh, for 15s, uh, let's say apart from the Kenya team, uh, Cabras next year as a team. Uh, what are you going to look to improve uh, being the previous season finalist? Okay. For the club, I cannot talk now because right now I'm concentrating on the national duty. So for the club, I cannot, I cannot say something now until come next season and start playing for the club. Okay, thanks for having us and cheers for your nice time. Okay, thank you.